To convert any PowerPoint into a video, drag your presentation into Synthesia, click three buttons, and you now have a fully customizable video that people might actually enjoy watching. To get started, click on the link in the description, and once you're in the dashboard, you'll see the option to import PowerPoint at the top of the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my PowerPoint file now, which is a basic presentation about our monthly social media numbers. I then want to enable text editing and convert my speaker notes into a script that AI will use to create a voiceover. Once it's uploaded, it will open up the Synthesia editor where you essentially have a finished video. It's created a voiceover based on my notes in line with the slides and I can edit and move all of the text and images on screen. I can even add animations to them too, just like PowerPoint. Hi everyone, welcome to our social media reporting for July. It's been a huge month across YouTube, LinkedIn and TikTok. But I can very easily take this simple video to the next level by adding an avatar presenter, eye-catching video clips and some interactive elements that lets your viewers click options on the screen. So the final video could look something like this. Hi everyone, welcome to our social media reporting for July 2025. If you want to skip straight to the numbers for a specific platform, go ahead and choose the option on screen right now. Once I'm inside the Synthesia editor, I can start by editing the voiceover script for each slide at the bottom of the screen. I can just delete and type in there like a Word document. And if you don't like the sound of the default voice, you can easily change it by hovering over the presenter options and opening up the voice library where there are lots of different options for tone and language. But to make it even more engaging, I can give the voiceover a face. The Synthesia avatars are incredibly realistic and having a speaker on screen is much more engaging than just a disconnected voice. To add an avatar, click on the character name and open up the new speaker options where you have a lot of different characters to choose from. The speakers with a purple symbol next to them are the new Express 2 avatars, which are the most lifelike with fluid body language and hand gestures. So I'm going to select one of those, which drops it straight into the scene. And I'll also make sure to hit this option to add the avatar to all slides, which just saves me some time doing it manually. Now I can also change the shot and appearance of the avatar over on the right hand side. And I'm also going to put mine in this circular frame and place her where I want to within the scene. Now, when you play the avatar back in the editor, you might panic when you notice that she doesn't actually move but don't worry that's completely normal and it will be speaking once we export the final video. So I've gone ahead and updated my slides to position my avatar exactly where I want it on each page and using Synthesia I can also add engaging video clips tailored to my presentation using Google VO3 which is built into the editor. So if I don't think this slide is overly interesting to watch in a video I can select it, hit replace image and just type in exactly what I want to see in a video clip. So for this slide my script talks about how hard the social media team have been working on new content so I'll describe a scene that looks like that in detail and using the prompts underneath Synthesia also helps you get the best looking results depending on what you're going for. I've gone for a cinematic looking video and in just a few minutes a bespoke video clip has now been created and I can add it to my project. But my favorite feature allows you to change the entire experience of how people watch your video. Instead of just passively viewing it from beginning to end you can turn your video presentation completely interactive with clickable options on the screen. All I need to do is select the text that I want to turn into a clickable button, turn on the switch for interactivity and choose the slide that I want to jump to. It's as easy as that. Another very easy way to make your video more watchable is by adding some background music which I can also choose from the built-in library. Once I've finished editing I can go ahead and hit generate and when it's finished you'll get an email and your final video will be ready to share. But what if your remote teams don't speak English? Well, if you want to learn how to dub your video recordings into 32 different languages with lip sync, you should watch the video on screen right now.